Instructional video on how to find your weights in week one. Before we get started, we just want to explain the differences between the bars and the weight of the bars. Now, depending on your gym, some of them may have um, bars that range from seven and a half kilos to 10 kilos to 12 and a half and so forth. Um, these bars are generally used for bicep curls and shoulder press. So we do recommend starting off um, using these bars if you're new to sort of, uh, exercises. Um, but in this demonstration, we've got a 10 kilo bar, which is a smaller bar in front there, and we have a 20 kilo Olympic bar. Okay, so starting off with warm up set one, we want to perform 10 reps at a, at a light weight that we can perform safely. The goal of this phase here is clearly just to get movement, get the blood flowing in the body. Uh, we don't have to focus too hard on our technique in terms of our posture, targeted muscle groups at this phase. We just want to increase the blood flow to get that flexibility going. The second part of the warm up, set two, we want to perform six reps. We want to increase the weight slightly by two and a half to five kilos, making sure that we put the even amount of weight on each side. Okay, in the six reps here, we want to get better with our performance. We want to improve our posture. We want to make sure that we're focusing on the targeted area, so the muscles you're trying to work. And we want to try and strive to improve our flexibility, our range, and just focus on the overall exercise much harder. In the warm up set three, you'll perform three reps. Again, we want to increase the, the weights of this one by two and a half to five kilos, making sure the weights are even on both sides of the bar. And obviously, as I've mentioned before, depending on your gym will determine on what weights you can in add that increment to. In this case, we're using the 20 kilo barbell, the Olympic bar. The three, set, the three reps, we want to make sure that we improve our form immensely. So we're getting ready for the working set now. So we want to make sure the posture is good with all the lifts. We want to make sure that we take our time to perform every single lift like it's our working set. Now just a final note with the warm up, we shouldn't be fatigued at the end of the warm up. We should be feeling nice and warm in the muscles. We should feel like that we've definitely done something, but we shouldn't feel fatigued, making sure that by the time we get to the working set, that we can perform it with greater performance and a heavier load. So for the working set, we want to add two and a half to five kilos to the bar. This is where the magic happens. So obviously we want to perform it with the best um, posture and technique as possible, which is ex explained in the workout videos. But the whole goal of this process is to progressively add small increments of overload whilst maintaining the rep range that is designed in the workouts. So an example would be in the early phase, you might be aiming for 10 to 12 reps. We want to make sure that we can lift that 10 to 12 reps, but really feel it in the targeted muscles. And we get to that sort of 12th rep or 10th rep, like we've really done something, but we're able to do it. If you can't get 10 to 12 reps, if that's what it's asked of you, then the weight's too heavy and you need to drop the weight down a little bit. Okay, one final note here, in calculating your reps outside of the initial four week phase, foundation phase, is that the weights should obviously go up in increments of two and a half to five kilos. Once you know your weight, you can easily calculate based on the examples on the page of 25% for 10 reps, 50% for six reps, and 75% for three reps. Also note that if you can't get the exact weight, then you should underestimate that number. So an example would be if you're doing a barbell squat at 25 kilos, then 25% of that is just over six kilos. So you may not be able to do that with the bar. So the, what you have to do is move to the next warm up set of six reps, which would make it just over 12 kilos 
if the bar isn't 12 kilos, you need to perform it at a 10 kilo bar. 